this are pushpam and welcome to site course heads so today i'm going to cover how we can edit the assets um, in the content hub so editing asset we ways we can edit the assets in the content hub so we will go one by one so first one is edit in preview mode just go to your asset page and uh, here just select your assets and then uh, here i have a option uh, this eye icon if you click on that option here you have a space to edit your um, meta properties so just edit and you can directly edit the property values so this is the first way once you edited that you can directly land it to the view detail page and there you can find all of your changes and then next one is the editing table so um uh, it's related with edit multiple assets in the table using spreadsheet operation editing table let's so uh, try that cancel and then close editing table yeah um here i can see the editing table option once you click that yes okay uh, so i think i can do the change here i'm just clicking on these boxes and then i'm trying to yes once you double click it will give the pop-up and here we can do the changes and then done and then type logo yeah here we have an option to change that and the same way we can update all the properties uh, here i can find few properties only but if you go to the even uh, if you go to the asset detail page we can find a lot of uh, properties uh, let's try to open any of the asset detail page okay um go to asset detail let's open any of the image from here is this one yes here i can find lot of details uh, but anyways in the table section i can see few of the fields i hope it may be configurable in the um page level actually uh, here each row is representing our uh, assets and each column is representing our um, meta properties uh, let's try to update the description um, sample one and then click here two and then three so done and then i'm um, save and close i'm doing i just done the save and close here i can see the job view jobs yes so when you try to uh, use the editing table option so it will automatically running on background jobs for updating all the meta description meta properties uh, so it's always recommended to do uh, some uh, some rows uh, so it's recommended to do the uh, few rows for the first job and then you can do it for the uh, you can do the remaining rows for the next job um, in case if you have a 100 to 200 uh, rows if you try to update in the one time then it will be it will be um, affect your performance because it, anyways it's running the background uh, mass edit job um, so we have to keep it in our mind and i found these details in here when you making any modification in the mass edit table we recommended saving regularly to create and run a small processing jobs in the background yeah okay fine and the next option is more okay now we can explore about the edit option mass edit so how we can do, do that first just select two assets i just selected that and click here and then edit so already i have opened one of the asset detail page uh, from the selection list and i'm going to test this now in the right side um, i can see uh, none replace up and then clear so if you give none then it will not affect our uh, properties so let's try that test description okay and then uh, next one is uh, next one we will try with replace so it will replace the existing value so let's try to use this one and then yeah first we will try these two properties and then confirm and just go here 
yeah here i can see the description is not updated at the same time it's updated my type and then next one we can try this up and so it will up and with the current value so let's add visibility and then apply and then confirm oh yeah Yes, here I can see the visibility. So the same way you can use all of the actions. Um, you can use all of the actions for our requirements. And then one more thing we have to remember. Uh, this also um, running the background jobs uh, when we do the mass edit. Yeah, we can find the details here. Submitting mass edit changes create a mass edit job. Uh, so we can find the background process in the background processes section and just now we have updated manually and then um, we can explore these two options for the next two options if you go to the same mass edit page here we can find the from asset and from template so in the template i don't have any template so we could not explore this option but for the assets we can try that here i am just opening this asset and uh, okay um uh, here we can directly do the changes so here i can see the instagram let's uh, move to let's update to facebook and then apply and then confirm during orange so my um it is okay here we can find that right so we have updated to uh, instagram yeah here we can find that updated value so if you want to directly update the asset then you can use that option yes um so the next one is uh, create a draft asset so creating draft um actually it will uh, duplicate the asset and without affecting the original so on here if you come to the detail page and let's go to any other asset and i'm going to this asset and in here we can find the create draft so create draft once you click that it will duplicate the asset and yeah here we have an option to view original still i can see the id is same and 31437 yes it's my original and uh, it's my draft so uh, once you click on the draft it will create the uh, new duplicate um, it will create the duplicate of your original image and then uh, here you can do your changes and uh, let me add one value here and then save and then yeah and once you done uh, you can directly publish that on so, uh, so once you publish that then it will replace your original uh, asset so let's try that before that i just like to duplicate this and let's open the original one and then um yeah we can take this one also it's our duplicate link yes perfect now we can try that uh, so i have updated the geography to as it is internal and i'm going to publish that okay direct publish um okay i don't have option for direct publish so yeah and then review okay it's in review tab now click and then click and approve so i approved the asset and this also created the job in the background is it's the mouse edit job fine and let's explore that yes um it started the only one process that is uh, mass edit and let's re refresh the original one yes the original one it's updated the internal and let's try the 
duplicate one yeah it's not found that so once we approved the original one once the approver approved the original one it will delete the duplicate one it will, it will replace the values in the original one yeah it's it's cool feature